All right, so um, first and foremost, we would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, and with us. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. We want to give a peace and salutation to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked queendom. All right. And uh, we're we going we gonna to get right into the scriptures. It's the book of Job, chapter 12, verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. Who is the him? The heavenly father, Yahweh, man. All right. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. You see? Through him is strength and wisdom, man. All right. And that's where we get our strength and wisdom from, man. Okay? And our comfort. All right? The deceived and the deceiver are his. The deceived and the deceiver are his, man. All right? You see? Because what's going on right now, man, is you have a lot of false prophets, man. All right? And I'm speaking about those that are in those that those that are Israelites that know that they're Israelites, all right, that are out here, all right, spewing spewing false false doctrine, man. Okay, you see, false accusations, all right, against our apostles and elders, all right, bearing false witness and etc., man. All right, you see, and for you sincere Akim and Akwath out there, you got to watch out for these false prophets, man. Okay. Right. This is Job 12, verse 16. What the Lord says, the sheep shall hear his voice. Just like the precept we just read, the deceiver and the deceived are his. So obviously, it's up to the Lord whether or not you understand his truth. You know? and nobody comes, uh, you know, to the same, you know, by their own will to, you know, the knowledge. Has to be open, you know. Like the brother was saying, you got those you got false teachings, all right? Because that's what doctrine goes right there to your teachings, all right? Hey, hey, the Lord said that that uh, he's he, he's a uh, he's a um, a power of, of uh, balance, man. All right, you see, anything unbalanced is an abomination to the Lord, man. Okay, so so guess what? You're gonna have you're gonna have those. Good prophets per se, right? That 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 the Lord actually sent out those apostles, right? And then you're gonna have false, you know, uh, uh, um 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 teachers, man. All right, that are gonna be sent out as well, man. All right, but what did the Lord say? Uh, the, the deceived and the deceiver are his. The deceived and the deceiver are his, man. All right, the Lord doesn't want all two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. All right, the Lord doesn't want uh, uh, um um those that go by these proverbs, man, from the twelve tribes. All right, doesn't want a, 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 um, a Negro, a Mexican, a Haitian, all right, a Puerto Rican, man, all right? The Lord wants the 12 tribes, man, those that have came back, all right? You see? Nope. Those are spiritually redeemed. Because this is about changing the work in the world before you came in, all right? It ain't no, the law is not going to get you to righteousness. It's your spirit. Sacrifice of the Lord is a broken contract. So the Lord, look at all the scripture says, um, they shall worship him. The, true, the, uh, the time will come for the true worshipers. All right? Shall worship him in spirit and in truth. That's right. So it's all about the renewed spirit in you. Okay? Because the Lord is looking for new creatures. All right? There ain't no, the law is not going to get you to that. Failed in that area, all right, and it became a curse unto us. Why? Because we couldn't keep it. Hey, hey, it's like uh, it's like the um, the, the infrastructure, right? You know, when they have an old building, man, all right. When you have plans to build something new, something bigger and greater, right? You have to tear down that old building, all right, in order to build the you know the new plan up, man, all right. Something that's bigger and better, man, all right. So that's that old man, all right. You have to cut that shit off, man, all right. With a strong foundation, right? And the word is right doctrine. Just a quick piece of context. Um, you said the deceived and deceiver are his. So, you know, the Lord set up these false prophets to deceive the undesirable, you know. But uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 14 and 9. It says, And if the prophet 
be deceived when he has spoken a thing. I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. So that means if you don't get it, then the Lord made, made it so that you don't get it. See? And hey, the elect, okay, the, the elect are going to know what's right, going to be able to discern between both evil and good, false and true. That's what the Lord is doing. All right, He's supping with the elect and revealing Himself even more, the Spirit, on how to worship Him, how to come towards Him, because the elect is about to be sealed. That's right. That's right. You see, so all this, you know, this back and forth is necessary evil, which is not evil. That's how the Lord, the Lord, loves controversy just as well, just as well as anybody. In fact, the Lord is controversy. All right, you know, all throughout the scriptures, it show you the Lord bringing in the, uh, 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 intricately bringing an occasion against individuals in the scriptures. You know, like Pharaoh, for example. Okay, he told Moses to go tell Pharaoh to let his people go, and guess what? The Lord was doing hardening, hardening Pharaoh's heart, so it made it somewhat difficult for Moses to go. Hey, you know. But he did it what? Why? To show his power. You see? Right. So the Lord has always, always has a, a, a way of doing things. A purpose. It's the purpose behind it. And there's a purpose behind uh, what's going on in the spirit now. Because there's a lot of false doctrines coming out. False teachings are being revealed. People's minds are being revealed. You see? And uh, men are being edified. All right? Those that hear, the, hear that voice... Hear your Hawashai's voice and follow your Hawashai. He's something. You know? So there's a lot to do. There's a lot to take in. You know? But hey, it's like I read on the way here. Don't panic. All right? Because I was thinking heavy in my mind. We made a turn to come down the street, come to camp. And it says, don't panic. What's panicking for? You know? If you, if you of the light, you're going to get the understanding. All right, and the Lord is making sure his men get the So that we can come to Yahweh Shai blameless. All right? And the correction and, and, and reproof, it's not easy. It's not supposed to be easy. It's part of your refining process. Right? But that's what this is about. Also, it's about being refined and made perfect. For what? Affliction. All right? They're not going to teach you that in Sunday school or church. All right? They're not going to teach you that at the mosque, all right, at the Roman Catholic, what do you call it? I'm saying that right. You know, they can tell you that at the mass, on mass on Sunday, Saturday morning. Mass out. <laughs> no, but, no, but just to add to what the brother was saying, you know, that's like, uh, 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 you know, gold being charged in the fire. The Lord said it. Hey, 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 when even when gold is put to the fire, man, right, to get rid of those, you know, uh, 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 impurities, you know, and things like that, right? Uh, 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 it's, 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 being, it's being pushed, all right, to the brink of being destroyed. Okay? You see? So, so hey, that's that's what that's what we got to go through in this time, man. All right? You see? You're gonna be tried, man, all right? You see? You have to earn the kingdom, man. All right? chapter 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting, and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter the kingdom. Much tribulation, man. All right? 
not 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 uh um um making a movie, man. All right, like uh, who's that? IUIC, man. All right, making a Hollywood movie, man. All right, you see, them them, them niggas ain't no different than the Christian church, man. All right, because they're having their followers. All right, you know they started that GoFundMe. They're having their followers pay for them to make a Hollywood movie, man. You know. The Lord didn't say do that, man. Okay? He said, He said, simply go out, out into the highways and hedges, man. All right? And teach and preach, man. All right. Even if you preach it into the wind, all right, the Lord said that his sheep is gonna hear his voice, man. Okay, just like we heard the Lord's voice, man. All right. When those other men were out there teaching and preaching, man. Okay. They ain't being afflicted. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was going to say. Like from the very beginning, the first scripture you read, the deceiver deceived. Right? The point of a watch of a, of a uh, prophet is to uh, to warn. And these other camps are not doing that. They're, they're again, they're marketing and, and, and uh, profiting off the scriptures. And the Lord hates that shit because again, what were the prophets called uh, before? Uh, they were called prophets, watchers. The watcher does what? He, he watches, right? Warn, and then and, and he foresees, and then he warns of the oncoming of destruction that he can see it in the uh, in the distance. These other camps ain't doing that. They're not letting you know of what uh, the reputation of our power is about, because he has requirements. He's got prerequisites of being a servant for him or being a saint. So one of those prere prerequisites is going through what you just read through tribulation. Uh, this is the book of uh, 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Read it again. This is 2 Timothy, chapter, uh, chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. All scripture. All scripture. All scripture. What? The? It's, it's given by inspiration of the Most High. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof. So teaching, correct reproof, which is being corrected. For correction, Same thing. for instruction in righteousness. Right, so it's instruction in righteousness. So that reproof and correction is your instructions in righteousness. All right, because that's how I get it. And see, the point I want to make is that Jake don't like the way this, the Lord is bringing this truth. You see? They want glory in certain areas. Hey, well, the Lord is going to give us our glory. We're not going to give glory just by, you know, making a movie, for example, the brother brought out the example. And, you know, all the characters are black. You know, that's really his vanity. Okay? The Lord is going to put us back on top. Okay? So Jake wants that, that vain glory and on this side. No, we're going to be supposed to be made this way. We're supposed to be vain. We're supposed to be a spectacle. All right? And then, when the Lord shows us his power through what? Through prophecy, okay? Then we're going to be glorified, okay? But we, we got to take the L first. And that's doing the work. And that's being correct. And that's going through affliction. You see? It don't come like how Jake wanted to come. Oh, I ain't dealing with camps because they aren't everybody. Are. They're supposed to be hard. We're supposed to be hard. We're supposed to be looking for this. As the scriptures say, all right, but Jake don't want to deal. You see, that's the, the Lord has the Lord has a way of getting rid of all the bad. See, it's the perfect way. All right, that's why it's skirmishes and all this back and forth, this and that, because it's needed. All right, we'll give a damn how a nigga think. That's why the Lord he does things completely opposite of what what people expect, and that's beautiful. See? Verse 17, that the man of the most high may be perfect. Thoroughly uh, yeah, thoroughly furnished into all good works. Right. Not of our own. This ain't of our own. We're not bringing forth works of our own. The Lord has put us in a position to bring forth righteousness got to go his way. It's his way or the highway. Plain and simple. You got a problem.
problem with it, so what? It's the Lord's movie. Period. So we going through these things, correction, proof, affliction, so that what? We can walk perfect before the Lord. So we won't have all those garments of vanity. And Matthew will say, um, if anybody can get it, talk about wedding garments. In the scripture, talking about a man that didn't come in with that wedding garment. Hmm. The garment is your cover. All right, and it's really dealing with your spirit and what you what what, what you take in. This is uh, Matthew chapter twenty-two and uh, eleven. It says, "You know what? No, uh, Matthew chapter twenty-two and nine. It says, Go ye therefore.'" Into the highways, and as many as you shall find, into the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways. They gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Yep, so they're bad and good. You got, you got, you got good brothers, you got bad brothers. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not a wedding, which had not on a wedding garment. And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? Right, not being covered with truth. See, sincerity. Right? Because of Jake got day on the chin. They could have been this, they, that they could be themselves from the world and add the world to, to this. You can't. You see? Hey, hey, so they're being brought in like that, too. Under these uh, false deceivers. Property. You know, taught, they teaching them that they can be uh, niggas in the world and coming to the truth. You know, the whole, the whole, the whole, yeah, the whole, yeah, the whole vibration is tied to the world, man. And this is all a good to say, a cloak of maliciousness and using, uh, <coughs> yeah, I just said a cloak. Anyways, um, it says, uh, back 22 and 12, it says, and he said unto them, Friend, how came us out in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. And said, Then said the king of the servants, bind him in the foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. That's right. Okay? Because this ain't, everybody ain't gonna get this. And everybody's not worthy of the call. Plain and simple, because you got, you know, individuals who don't have a spirit. That's fine. That's okay. The Lord made them not have the spirit. So at the end of the day, it's the Lord. And this is by predestination. Now, the Lord is fair. But again, there's certain trials and tests that's being put in place to filter out those that are good and those that are evil. Okay? You got some that don't have that wedding garment. That don't have that sincerity. That don't have the truth in their spirit. This is the book of First John, chapter four, verse one. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of the Most High. All right. So that's how. Hey, that's what we're supposed to do, man. All right. We're not supposed to believe every spirit. Why? Because many false prophets. Are going out into the world because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Man, all right, you see how do we find their spirit by the spirit, man? All right, okay. If they're not coming in, this is it. Oh, oh, oh. Isaiah 8. God, God, God. God. If I get Isaiah 8. You know, they're supposed to come in truth, man. All right, in 100 percent truth, man. All right, see, and the Lord does give out 100 percent truth, all right, to his men, okay, to the elect, all right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. What? To the what read again? To the law and to the testimony. Right. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Woo. Right. So you gotta speak according to the word. Now, well, hey, say you got this topic going around that you that you know we don't teach the law. Well, is the law going to save you according to the scripture? 
Huh? Did anybody answer that? Is the law going to save you according to the scripture? No. Now, Greg Millstone didn't say that <clears throat> not to do the law. We know that we can't do the law. All right? And the law does not bring you to righteousness. Because you have to be perfect in it. We know we can't be perfect in it. Being that we're in this society. Uh, Romans chapter 3 verse 31. Do we then make void the law through faith? How is it Yea, we establish the law? Right. I mean, well, right. So we don't we don't make void the law. Okay. In other words, we do it to, like we always say, we do it to the best of our ability. Okay. Because again, there's a law of faith. All right. According to Ephesians two and eight, law. I mean, the faith. Is a gift. All right. So some that's why a lot of people stop the idea of the faith. Hey, but, but, hey, but the, hey, that just proves that these niggas are carnal. Okay. See, because they because they believe that you actually have to physically do something. Okay. Which you do in a sense, right? You see, we have, we have to we have to uh, you know, uh, put put our bodies uh, uh, out as a living sacrifice, right? Which now, right? You see, and, and hey, and hey, just like Apostle Bar said, man, we do keep the laws, man. Okay, and we do teach to keep the laws, man, to the best of your ability, man. All right. If we didn't, then why the hell do we have our beards on our face? Man? All right. Why do we keep the high holy days, man? Okay. You see? Wait, hey, 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 Right. Okay. You see, why do we do all the? Hey, hey, why are we brotherly, man? Okay, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. We do teach to keep the laws, man. All right, to the best of your ability. But like the brother said, man, we can't keep the laws fully. Okay. Hey, hey, you know, hey, hey, faith without works is dead. Right. You know, so you gotta have faith and works are intertwined. So you show your uh, faith through your works. Yeah. Back in uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 2. Hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. I'll slack it. This is the uh, book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high. Hey, and that's a part of, you know, where the brother I now went into earlier, man. All right. That's a part of discerning from, you know, the good from the evil, man. Okay. Because, again, go back. Yeah, go back. They speak not according to this law. Go to the testimony. What's the testimony? What? Spirit of prophecy. A lot of people don't prophesy. All right? A lot of people say that salvation is of another way. It's not. Okay? A lot of people saying that you have to follow the law. You know, because we're not teaching not to follow the law. Okay? We just know that you can't keep the whole law, and there's a law of faith. All right? Through grace. Hey, hey, well, well uh, the brother just said testimony. I would like to land back off of that, man. Okay, because the scriptures talk about, you know, the land where our, where our Lord and Savior was crucified, man. Okay, which we know is Babylon the Great. Okay, you see? But, but hey, here, here it is in 2022, man. All right? You niggas are still crucifying the Lord, man. Okay? How How is that, man? You niggas are still exiting out your house side, man. All right? You see? Hey, 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 uh, uh, the brother posted a video, man, in the chat, you know, of, of uh, Alizé, you know? Uh, 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 talking about you know you know you know call itself trying to rebuke that you know the elders and apostles was out which is out of order by the way right but but one of the things he said hey, uh, you know while while, while uh, screaming all right was yeah how is speaking through me and and, and uh, rebuking you niggas man hey, hey, hey man the family father's not speaking through you nigga okay salaki salaki I, I just have to you know go into that man all right you know be, be, these guys have been putting out a lot of doctrine man xing out your house side man book of Hebrews man. This is Malachi chapter 3, verse 18. He says, he says, He says, Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between that between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. Right, man. All right. And these niggas is not serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. See? Hey, hey, the scripture's talking about us being soldiers for Yahweh Shai. All right. You know? These niggas are not soldiers for Yahweh Shai, man. All right. That's what we're out here for, man. 
We're soldiers for you, how we shot, man. Right. All right. We cut off this wicked ass society, man. All right. We cut off our wicked ways for y'all we shot, man. That's right. All right. Because they died for us, man. Right. Okay. So lucky. You know? We ain't out here, we ain't out here for no goddamn vain glory, man. All right. First John four and one, beloved. Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. They hereby know, real quick, the word false. All right. Because well, just the word false comes from the, the word what? Lie. All right. You look at what the word lie means. It means intentional, conscious falsehood. You are doing this shit knowing that you know what you're doing. So that's how we know what you are. You're, you're willingly lying to the people that you're trying to teach. A false prophet, man. You're doing it, again, for vainglory, for material gain, for an image of reputation. And you're taking, and you're just, and, and, and little do you know, well, you do know, you're destroying the souls of what could be sincere men. You're driving away people who want to learn. You know when I when I like I, I seen this uh this video of uh with a bunch of women uh trying to teach. You see them all rocking back and forth getting spirits putting them and shit, man. That's what you're doing with these people, man. You're putting so many legions of demons on them. All right, and hey, the blood is on you niggas' hands, man. All right, you're gonna have to ask for that, man. Okay, because you don't give a shit about your congregation, man. You know. All right, we care for the sheep of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, that's why we're out here, man. Okay, we suffer for Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we get we get little foolish for Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because he did it for us, man. Would you niggas forget that? It's no goddamn a, 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 a fictional story, man. All right, that man went through hell for us, man, because he loved us. It's like, don't take it back. <laughs> <laughs> they say, mean you say anything to me. Let your ABA and ABA. You said something, hey, they was all the philosophy and get you out of shot. So, hey, let it all hang out. And again, it goes back. These dudes speaking in opposition to what y'all was trying to say. All right? It's, it's, it's obvious as day. Speaking in opposition to what the Lord is saying. All right? And then, don't the Christians say, uh, y'all was trying to cry for us? No. No. Pray for us, John. He John prayed for us, us, man. All right? We'll be out here fucked up, man, if it wasn't for y'all inside, man. Look at First John chapter 4, verse 1. We love, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High, every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is coming to flesh is of the most high. Right, man. All right. And we confess that, man. All right. The water Yahweh Mashiach man. All right. We confess that, man. All right. Because the time in the return of our Lord and Savior is on his way, man. Okay. That time is about to come, man. All right. This is the year of the turn up, man. All right. The Lord is about to turn up on you niggas out here, man. Okay. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, you so called blacks. Latinos and Native Assembly Indians, the Lord is about to destroy you, man. He's about to judge you niggas, man. Okay? And you niggas that are going against you, you niggas that are anti Hamashiach, sorry, anti Yahweh, you're about to be judged, man. All right? So, like, that I'm getting, you know, you know, getting, getting, you know emotional, you know? But hey, man, hey, hey, that, that means a lot to us, man. All right? Yahweh Shai means a lot to us, man. All right? We're out, we're, we are out here to make sure, all right, to make our calling and election sure that we get that mark of the law. Okay, exemption from the hell that's about to, that, that, that the Lord is about to bring on you people, man. Okay, you see we're doing this in fear. Okay, we're not out here. We're not. We're not out here trying to sell garments, man. All right, sell sell uh what are those what are those uh uh uh, uh, uh custom stats and shit, man. Okay, promote our albums and shit, man. We're not out here for that, man. Okay. Get your friends, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, they can, uh, uh, you know, deacon destruction, you know, <laughs> you know, so like you, man, you know, I really, you, you know, the Lord be really having it on my spirit that these niggas is crucifying the Lord, man. They're crucifying Yahweh Shai, man. Because again, like you said, they deny his coming in the flesh. And that, that entails a whole lot, man. You 
because you know, I was shot when he died, all right? Not that he, he ain't just died for his sin, but he died for the nation's sin, right? Okay, and he brought Yahweh Shai brought a, a sort of a new a new way to turn to be turned back to the Lord. And that was through that was through faith by by grace. You see, so telling somebody uh, 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 that you gotta you know keep the whole law, well you you just crossed out Yahweh Shai and his and what he had done and what he had to go through. See, but Jake don't have a fear and really don't have an understanding of what they're doing. Or where the scriptures talk about, they, they uh, have an itching ears. They don't know where they uh, wanting to be teachers and, and knowing not where they affirm. They don't know what the hell they talking about, man. <laughs> Those dudes are just carnal, and really they don't have a spiritual bone in their body. You see, so it's it's a lot more than this understanding, all right, than what they're really leading on, man. Okay, and that's why it's important to understand these things and to move with fear. Hey, we uh, go back to that. Uh, yeah, go back to first John four. Stop for first one. Yeah, stop for first one. This is the book of first John, chapter four, verse one. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high. Yeah, so it said, believe not every spirit. But try the spirit to see if they are the most high. You can take that off. So believe not every spirit, but try the spirit to see if they're the most high. How do you try this spirit? Try to spirit by what's written. Try to spirit by the doctrine. Okay. What is that? Matthew 15 and 11. Um, it says what? Uh, what goes in the mouth will make us defile them, but what goes out of them. You see? So it's the thing that you guys are saying out of your mouths. Somebody hold on that Revelation 14. So read that again. It's first John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, right? But try the spirits whether they are of the most high. So trying your spirit is trying about a doctrine. Okay. Now, one thing that this particular group said is that yeah, we listen to the we used to follow after the teachings of uh, a great millstone, but uh, 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 but we found that everything is wasn't correct. But the scripture says in the last days, so we're not in uh, in their sound doctrine. So we can tell by uh, uh, a cross examination, okay, who's trying to add their own spin to the truth? Because this thing has already been established, man. You know? Yeah, keep something, get that. Keep thou what thou has. Yeah. What you got? Uh, do 1 and 19. Eighteen, Jude one and eighteen. It says, "Yeah, yeah." Jude one and eighteen says how that they told you that there should be in the last times mock mockers. Yep. So, lucky it says how that they told you that there should be mockers in the last time who shall walk after their own ungodly lust. These be they will separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. Yep, that's right. Having not. Now, where you start from? Uh, verse 18. So jump all the way up. Go to like 11. Look at 2, chapter 1, the, uh, verse 11. Woe to them, for they have gone gone in the way of Cain yep. and, read, and ran greedily after the era of. Balaam, you have murderous, false uh, doctrine. Go ahead. It says they ran greedily after the error of Balaam for uh -huh. war and Paris in the gang saying of war. Yep. Those unbelievers going back into uh, 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 leaving out of Egypt. Okay, those mummers. You see, a lot of dudes, when they come into the truth or come up a part of be, be amongst the truth, they get the mummer. Uh, I don't really. I don't really like this. I'm dealing with this, but nah, you know, Deuteronomy 22, you send the rape doctrine. Nah, we, I, I don't want to deal with that. You know? Omit. Yeah, omit. You know? The scripture, the scripture Revelation 22 speaks about uh, not adding and taking away from the women. Okay? So, like, 
scripture says that we shall know them by their fruit. So we see who's adding and taking away from the word. This is why uh, uh, 1 John 4 1 says, try the spirit by the spirit to see if it's of the most high. Okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 12. These are spots in your feast of charity. Yeah, so these are spots in your feast of charity. This is a feast. Okay? What we're doing right now, this is a feast. Remember, this is the this is the gathering of the wet. Remember? They all shot you know, bid them to the marriage. And at a marriage, what, what do you have at a marriage? You have a, 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 a you have a feast. So this is the this is what we're doing now. We're bridging, okay? We're we're, we're actually marrying ourselves back to uh, uh, um, our husband. That's what we're doing right now. If it's the husband, it's your shot. That's right. Okay. So at a wedding, what do you do? You sit down. You at the feast. Okay. We're eating. Right. Now your shot is what? Somebody um. Uh, Proverbs nine. Your shot was placed in the manger, correct? And what is the what is the, what is the manger? Uh, right, a feeding trough. Okay. So go back to uh, what you just said. Um, yeah. Like the fact in Jude chapter, me um, verse twelve. Says these are spots in your feast of charity, but they feast with you, uh -huh. feeding themselves without fear. Yeah, see when they they, they they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. So we was all gathered. Remember, just you know, I was trying to say, gather good and bad, right? So you got the good coming in, you got the bad coming in, and now we all at the table. Now we all supposed to be feeding off the of house shot. Put on deck, John six. Okay. This, this, it's a spot in your uh, piece of charity, man. Meaning you have a blemish, tainted, something is off with you, something is wrong with you. See? Now, this is supposed to be a sacrifice. We're supposed to sacrifice Romans, Romans 12 and 1, present your body as a living sacrifice. So if your sacrifice has a blemish, okay, or if your sacrifice has a, a spot, you're, it's tainted. The Lord is going to reject it. Well, that's your doctrine. See, that's you guys' doctrine. That's what you're saying out of your mouth. So try the spirit by the spirit to see if they're the most high. Is what you're saying out of your mouth, man. That doesn't correlate with your how about your mouth shot. Go ahead. It's clouds they are without water. Yeah, clouds without water. See? Just like your how shot, who you guys are, uh who's against who you guys are against, he told the Samaritan woman. If you drink it this well, uh, you will never thirst again. So you guys are clouds without water. So that's another add-on to you. I mean, you don't have the spirit. You don't have the truth. Go ahead. It's carried about a wind. See, carried about a wind. Which I not made mention of the itching ears. See? Remember, the scripture says, some will not endure sound doctrine. We know a lot of you guys look up or uh, have watched. Watch the great millstone. Watch the apostles. And then what you do is you go in and you take certain things that, that, that fix your ego. And then you take things out that, that you ain't you ain't dealing with, man. Yeah. You know? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, um, uh, the scriptures say that you're defiled. If you, if you, if whatever, if the scripture says, whatever that your woman sitteth upon is defiled, man. You know? So you guys is pushing that the woman ain't defiled on her on her cycle. That lets me know you guys, and I I'm not bearing false witness, but it sounds like you guys plop your woman on, on, on her rag, man. You know? And that's a and that's a thing, man. That's the thing, man. They take do that shit, man. Take pop their woman on their rag, man. Especially the, the uh, northern king. Yeah, man. So it seems like it, is that what you guys do? I'm not saying you. I'm not saying that y'all are. But if you justify it having sex on the Shabbat, and, oh she ain't defiled, 
uh, when she's on her ride, well, then if she ain't the pilot, then that can you all access to go in there. You know? Which is going on? Go ahead. Says trees whose fruit withered. Uh huh. Trees whose fruit withered. Okay? Did not get outside. He went to go get something from the beach and it didn't produce what he wanted. You know? A substance to eat. And what did he do? He, he, he cursed it, man. So that's what's going to happen to you camps. That's going to happen to you leaders, man. The scripture says, smite the shepherd and the, uh, and the sheep scattered. All right? Is this more that? Go ahead. And then you can show it It says, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Twice dead, plucked up by the roots, man. All right? The twice dead. You were dead once. You came into the knowledge again. Rejected it, and he was that dog that that licking his own palm, and I just dead again, man. Go ahead. Verse thirteen, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame. Uh huh. See, foam out your own shame. We just let you hear this talk. You know, a nigga like to hear himself. When a dude want to talk, 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 twenty four goddamn seven. Eventually, he gonna he gonna catch himself up. Loudest one in the room is the weakest. Yep. Talk to that much. Yep. That fool uttered his whole heart. Proverbs. Hey, yep, yep, yep. As he had us for an example, which is an example, it's like the brothers out here. Hey, hey follow them. They mark them, brothers, because they're doing hey, the right direction, the right path. Right. Forget our apostles, because they never let up. Right. right. They never let right. up. Right. And it's proof that they never let up through the records. They mm -hmm. kept records of them right. prophesying. Right. You, you see videos of Apostle Har in 88 teaching. You see videos of Apostle uh, Gabar in, in, in the 90s teaching. Apostle Ronald in the 90s teaching. You see, you see Elder Tazayawan, young as hell, a uh, whole post, man. We, we got the records. You know? We see Elder Manatasa. We see all them elders, okay? We, we, we see certain certain pictures of them in a the whole school. You know? In the past, so we used to see them in the Old West. Back in the uh, when Pastor uh, Hall was teaching in the Old West called Genesis, man. That's the first period we ever watched. That, that was a cold break there. Yeah. So we seen them from there yeah. all the way yeah. till now. Yeah. Where you other guys uh track records are? So we have a we have a right example to follow after. Go ahead. It says, For many walk of whom I have told you often, uh -huh. and now tell you even weaker. Yeah, and some other niggas walked off off the boat. And, and this is and there's some guys who we actually, you know, we love, love. That's what I said. I tell you, we it's like, damn, you know, that was one of the worst that was burned. You know, go ahead. It says that they are the enemies of the cross of the Amasiak. I was shocked. They are the enemies, man. Okay, there they are. There's enemies of Yahweh Shai out here. Okay. Not even just him, all of them. We want to stick it on him. It's all, all of the ones that's not teaching the proper doctrine. It's not even just them. You know? It says, whose end is destruction if whose power is 
their belly uh -huh. and whose glory is in their shame, who mine earthly things. It says, who mine earthly things, man. And I ain't even got to break that down. Who mine earthly things? That's evident who's mining earthly things. Man. And it's majority of you camps. You got one camp that's trying to make movies. You got another camp that's trying to do videos, of, uh, singing videos. You see? You got another camp that's doing rap videos. You know? You got another camp that's, that's, that's promoting nothing but, 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 uh, 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 clothing. Yes, sir. Uh, well, that, uh, this is an NLT. This is uh, Philippians 3 and 17. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example. For I have told you often before, and I say it again with hey, tears. Hey, in season and out of season, we follow men who does this in the wintertime, in the snow, in the hot. You know, in the cold. Yeah, we in the cold. Okay? We've seen our apostles speak on it and do it. So now we follow the example. This is a part of giving diligence to make that call of extra shit. You know? Something Jacob, you know, because they got a little shackles on them. When it comes to the wintertime, they'll go off to Miami or something for a couple of months. And then they'll go back. You know? But we, we rough the shit out, man. Go ahead. It says, and I say it again with tears in my eyes that there are many whose conduct shows they are Ooh. really enemies conduct. of the person of my Siak Yahushai. Conduct. See that? Conduct. Now, the scripture of Peter says, what manner of person are we to be in righteous, righteous, holy conversation? That word conversation goes to the Greek and the strophe, which means your conduct. So this is the conduct. This is the right holy conversation, right? Here. That's right. This is showing our conduct. The scripture says that the man is known by his his look, by his gait, the way he walks. That's why the scripture says, "Who is the man who makes man's face to shine?" Got the wisdom. Right? So it's perfect. That word conduct, because I, I always mention the, the salute. Only your conduct, composure, integrity. Conduct, conduct is uh, your behavior. Yeah, yeah. a yeah. servant of the Lord. Uh, what is that? I can't remember if it was Timothy's or it talks about being a servant of the Lord, not striving with that, but it also says to have good behavior. God. So yep. it's the way you gotta it's the way you gotta hold yourself in this thing, man. You know, we ain't we ain't making videos talking about having a pistol, so I still be strapped at camp. It's your behavior, man. You know, you don't want to push off that image because you push off that image, you have younger men looking at that image, okay? Because we 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 are all people of visual for the most part. So we see something, we live it. See? We see righteousness, we mimic righteousness. So we see nigga shit, we gonna mimic nigga shit. The movie Juice, she Black Dark Sportation, Scarface, Nino Brown, fucking uh 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 Payton Blue, uh New Jack City. We we visualize shit. You see? Sheep, sheep as simple as all hell. That sheep meat, that's why it's something called a shepherd's stick, right? The shepherd's stick has a hook. Sometimes you can hit that motherfucker on his head and he'll turn and go, or this motherfucker is stubborn. You got to grab with the shepherd's hook and yank his ass to where he needs to be. So you got to watch what you're doing. You got to watch your energy, man. Jake needs to get manipulated by anything yeah. in the world. He says, he says, they are headed for destruction. Their God, their power is in their appetite. They brag okay. about shameful things. And they, they brag think about, only they brag about shameful things. <laughs> they brag <laughs> about shameful things. Uh, it says, and they think only about this life here on earth. These guys don't have the eyes to see the future. No, I said. I said.
is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and I'm going to start from verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for the wide is the gate, and broad is the way. Right. Hey, this is like, this is what talking about the straight gate, okay? Straight, straight meaning, straight meaning, the meaning of position of difficulty. Okay? All right? Hey, 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 right now, man, you know, we're walking that straight gate, man, you know? We're out here in the cold, like, you know, like the brother said, man, you know? All right? Quit putting off the ways of the flesh, man, all right? You see? Uh, 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 hey, hey, cutting off the world means you're going to have to cut off those best friends, all right? Those, those, those are careers, all right? And things, you know, and things of that nature, man, okay? I'm rereading. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 13. Right. Enter ye and at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way. Yeah, man. Hey, hey all of these other, hey, hey, hey two thirds of the nation of uh, Israel is going through that broad gate, man. Okay. All right. They're all doing the same thing. Man. Okay. No matter how many people say that they're different or what, you know, whatever case may be, man, they're all they're all the same. Man. Okay. They're all doing the same shit. Man. Okay. And, and, and hey, you niggas that are that, that uh, know that you're Israelites, all right, and 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 have leadership positions, okay. You're doing the same thing as these niggas in the world, man. You're walking, you're walking through that, through that, through that uh, broad gate, you know. Go ahead. And broad is the way that leads to destruction. Yep. So broad, read, 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 read. Matthew seven and thirteen. Enter ye and at the straight gate. Yeah, the straight gate is a place of difficulty. Okay, hardship. Okay. The suffering that we go through. Uh, what what comes from the scripture? Picking up our cross, okay. Yahweh Shai suffered, so that straight gate is a very difficult position to get to the kingdom. Okay, you got to go through hell. Um, oh, my, I mean, oh my, you know, give me Acts where it says, uh, with much tri uh, tribulation shall you enter into the kingdom. Yeah, yeah let's get that. So go ahead, read that. For wide is the gate uh -huh. and broad is the way that yep. leadeth to destruction. So wide is the gate, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. All the different promotions and the philosophies out here that can get you tripped up. The different doctrines. Remember, uh, Yahweh, I told them in Matthew 24, right? He said, um, uh, uh, don't go to, you know, those that say, um, here is here is the anointing. Here, here is the, yeah, you just jump there, jump, jump against that Matthew 24 real quick. Book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Yep. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the and then shall the end come. Oh, that's verse five. Yes, sir. Go, go, go. Select four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew twenty-four and uh, verse four. And you have I answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Oh, there we go. For many shall come in my name, yep. saying, I am Hamashiach. Yeah, these different camps, different doctrines out here, you know. That's what I'm speaking about. And it's talking about Israelites. Okay? Remember that. It's talking about those of the circumcision. It's talking about Israelites. Then it goes into the, you know, the plantation Christianity and things like that as well. You know, but we stick with this. Go ahead. And shall uh, deceive many. Yeah, and then a lot is, 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 is being deceived, man. Okay? Those that, that's their fraud, you know? Fraud leads to the way of destruction. Go ahead. And ye shall hear of wars uh -huh. and rumors of wars. That's, that's all I want. Now you can go back. Yeah.
Plus tribulation. Just, just put that in. Plus tribulation. It's back in Matthew 7. Matthew 7 and uh, 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth into life. It is only one way, man. You know, uh, uh, John 10, where it speaks about uh, that the, that the hour shines the door. Okay? Did a lot of men climb up some other way. They try to climb up another way to salvation, but they, it, it, it's not going to work. You know? That's it. You got to keep going. Out. And few there be that find it. Verse 15, beware of false prophets which come unto you in sheep clothing, yep. but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Yeah, man. So we got, so what it is, is the prophet, this is the, the uh, righteous prophet against the false prophets. You know? Yeah, the house of David against the house of Saul. Ye shall know them by their fruits. And you shall know them by their fruits, man. Hey, hey, hey. We know the uh, uh, great millstone fruit. Because we're on the four corners of the earth. Brothers are given that due diligence. All right? It's 11 men in the camp. So guess what? There's 11 channels. Well, technically, everybody should have two to three channels. Okay? So if we got 11 men in the camp, all 11 men are producing. Okay? One, one channel go down. Put, put up a uh, video on the next channel. That's just here. And what about the Chicago camp? Every man should have a, 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 a channel. All right? And you got the, the, what, the, the uh, apostles, our elders, multiple can, uh, uh, channels. And every member who is supposed to be producing. Now take all the great millstone that's on the four corners of the earth. Okay? We are on the four corners of the earth right now. And all those men that's doing the work. So we shall be known by our fruit. You mean like, like a like a possible like a possible bar Ain't no ain't no uh Sakari in in, in, in uh, uh in Italy. <laughs> you know? Ain't no Sakari in this place or you know. Everybody hit me. What sound? What's mine? One sound. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. That's right. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. That's right. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Right. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Right. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down. See, every tree that don't Okay, good fruit. The fruit is about what? Knowledge and wisdom. Understanding. So that fruit. Okay? And if you ain't bringing forth that fruit, it's going to be going down, man. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is going to start by getting revealed. You know? And then, hey, the Lord may have something happen to that head of that demonic tree. And everybody's going to fall out and scatter. That's what happens to come people. See, see, people forgot about Kofi, man. And a lot of you guys didn't feel what the fuck happened to Kofi. You see? When we, when we first came into the truth, we were known, we were spoke, told about Kofi. We seen him, we seen his videos. We see what they was about. He said that he was a comforter. All right? He, 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 was, a, he was another dude that was calling out Jesus. All right? Another nigga that was called not Jesus Christ, okay? Him and his congregation, whatever the, the title, ICGJ, whatever. Uh, and what happened? The Lord took his ass out, man. And where, where, where is the camp? Where is that camp at? 
the head off the body gonna fall. Where, where's that camp at? Where's their videos at? A lot of them dudes is secretly watching Great Millstone. So let's say it happens to one of these other guys. I ain't even gonna mention no names. Let's say the Lord take out let's say the Lord take out me. But then if you know the boss believe he's a man of the Lord, but let's say he's not, right? What are those? What, what, what is the IUIC gonna do? They gonna keep the ball rolling, or as many of them gonna fall out because they're ahead who they respect the person looked up to. So you got to to the square world. You know? Or in, 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 any any other, you know, camp. What are y'all gonna do, man? When the Lord gets knocking, knocking people down. You know? Who's speaking false? It's about speaking false doctrine. You know, who's calling out another name? The Lord took that nigga company out. And didn't know there's like nobody feared. You know, nobody feared. Because y'all still call like J J E S U S. You know, y'all still adding in BS to the to the, to the, to the, to the word. Hey, the Lord is hey man, the Lord is, is he's tied on. Uh, uh, playing around. This right. the year right. turn up. Okay, how about Shabelle shot? Right. Wait until the Lord start smiting, smiting these these uh, uh shepherds, man. Wait until the Lord start smiting these shepherds, man. Apostle said that, man. Hey, hey, the Lord is building these other, you know, you know, building these other, you know, camp heads and camps up, man, just to show his power by breaking by, by, uh, by breaking them, them down. Breaking them down man. You know? It's just like so you're gonna see that. Like, just like how uh I know when it's how he he stirred up uh uh Pharaoh's uh uh Pharaoh's spirit just to show his power to yep. break them down. The exact same thing that's happening right now. That's right. Yep. Yeah, so that, that's it on that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This is first. This, this is first. This is first. Um, 